You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What security controls do you need to put in place in order to accomplish this? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm the CISO for Project Hosts. And today I want to talk with you about the CP family of security controls within the FedRAMP control set. CP stands for Contingency Planning. The good news is that you inherit a lot of these controls from Microsoft Azure. There are 24 controls in the family and you inherit 11 of them. And that's because when uh, a contingency happens, when a data center becomes unavailable, Microsoft Azure will fail over to a secondary data center. And all of your storage that you have in the primary one will fail over with it. However, there are a lot of things that you need to do to make sure that you come fully back up and running. And the time frame to get back up and running that FedRAMP requires is one day. You need to be back up in one day for FedRAMP moderate. If you have FedRAMP high, you need to be back up in 12 hours. And so to do this, you need to have in place a contingency plan. And that contingency plan has to have well-defined roles of people that would be performing the functions to get you back up and running. Those people have to be trained on those roles and you have to test it at least annually. So in our case, when Azure fails over and all of our storage fails over, what we need to do then is to rebuild all of our subnets that, that formed our cloud. We have to rebuild all of the security access controls or NSGs that are around those subnets, rebuild all the servers from the storage the disk images that failed over, and then uh, apply all the database corrections and updates to those get those into the domain, and then finally provide access. We've tested this and we can do it within the required time frames. But in order to do that, we had to put in place some scripts that would do all of that automatically. So uh, in addition to this kind of failover for when a data center goes down, contingency planning could also refer to if someone accidentally deletes a database or deletes some key piece of data. In that case, you want to have backups in place, and FedRAMP requires that you have weekly full and daily incremental backups, and they're stored in uh, a remote data center. So we make sure that we have that in place as well, testing those as required annually by FedRAMP moderate or monthly for FedRAMP high. So with these in place, that is most of what's in the CP family of controls. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about CP controls or, or FedRAP in general, please don't hesitate to contact us. And please also have a look at our other videos in this series and let us know what you think. Thanks very much.